All right, for hydraulics problem, homework problem four, we're going to install a pipe culvert under a minor secondary roadway in Greensboro, North Carolina. What's going to be the design discharge based on the following data? So we're given time of concentration. This is for problem four. We're told that that is equal to 10 minutes. We're told that it's a pipe culvert under a minor secondary roadway. So we'll go ahead to our table 3-2. Look at our minor secondary and pipe culvert, and we'll see whoop, that that is a 25-year design uh, duration there. So 25-year storm design for that, and then we'll go. Ahead, let's go ahead and find that um, runoff coefficient here. So we have a couple different individual areas and different individual coefficients for those areas. So I'll make a list of those. We have. 2.7 acres, which has a runoff coefficient of 0.3. We have 1.5 acres, which has a runoff coefficient of 0.5. And we have 1.6 acres, which has a runoff coefficient of 0.8. So we multiply those across to find their um, individual area times individual coefficient. And so we get 0.81. 0 0.75 and 1.28. And then we'll add up the first and last columns. So we have our total area is 5.8 acres. And our total area times our individual coefficients is 2.84. It's also acres. Um, and so we'll put those, divide those by each other to find that overall composite coefficient. So 2.84 over the 5.8, the acres will cancel out and we get 0 0.49, rounded to two decimal places there. So now we've got all that information, but we still have to find that intensity. And so in order to get that, we're going to have to go to our intensity duration frequency charts for Greensboro, North Carolina. We know that that time of concentration is 10 minutes, and we're looking for the 25-year storm. So from that information, we'll be able to come up with that intensity level. So let's take a look at that here. Yep. So for our 10 minute, coming up from the bottom here from our 10 minute line, we're going to come and follow that up until we intersect the 25 year storm. So that's that third line coming down. And, you know, if we put like a little dot in there, we could see that that's just a bit more than that six, you know, a little bit, a little bit greater than that six. So I'm going to go ahead and call that uh, a 6.3. <laughs> But you might have called it something different, but you'll see how that's going to affect my answer. And you should be somewhere around that. So if you get a different answer, it should still be in that ballpark. But I'm going to go ahead and call that intensity a 6.3 inches per hour. And so now to solve, I just go ahead and use my rational equation. That Q is that uh, composite coefficient times that intensity times the area. So in this case, we have 0 0.49 for the composite coefficient we found. Uh, intensity of 6.3 inches per hour and that whole area of 5.8 acres. And remember that when we multiply inches per hour times acres, it's about equivalent to one cubic foot per second. So we're going to call that 17.9 cubic feet per second for answer for number four. And if your intensity is a little different, you'll have a little bit different uh, total discharge and that is fine, but should be in that ballpark number.